Hello, welcome to clay painting with acrylic paints. Today we are going to do a quick demonstration on how to mix the acrylic paint so that it's thinner and will apply more easily on the clay. And I'd also like to share a little additional technique of using crayons as a resist. And I'm just using regular Crayola crayons. In fact, these are probably 10 years old. Okay, to get started. First of all, you can mix on a paper plate. That's what I'll be using. Some people use what are called palette paper plates just fine. All right, to begin with, I am going to take some blue paint and if you have not opened up your paint yet you'll have to use the lid and press the lid into the foil center and that will allow you to get your paint out. I'm going to start with some blue here and you'll notice when it comes out it comes out rather thick. For our clay painting we want to thin this down a little bit. So I have some water in a yogurt container and my brush is sitting in there. I actually have a second water container also. And what I'm going to do is add some water to my paint. And you'll notice I'm just dropping it on a little bit at a time here just by dipping my paint brush into the water. And I'm going to add that water to the paint and I want to get it to a thinner consistency. If you put it on to your clay with thick paint straight out of the tube, it will end up being too thick for the clay and you might lose some of your details. So I just keep adding a little bit of water and a little more water. And I want it thinner so that it flows more evenly. I'm still adding a little more water in here. And now that I've got my paint thinned out, you'll notice that I'm running my brush on the side. I can come over to one of my tiles. By the way, for these tiles, all of the impressions that you see that I've painted into the surface were done with a plastic knife, a plastic spoon, or a plastic fork. And you'll see this time when I've painted over any area that is depressed or pushed down, I can either leave empty white so that you can see the detail a little more closely, or I can go in with the small end of my brush and add some paint in there. And I'll do that for one of them, but not the other two that you see on there. So there you have just a little bit thinner application of acrylic paint. I also mentioned that you could use wax crayons to do a resist. So here I am taking this tile and I am adding some orange crayon onto the surface here. Now, because there is wax in the crayon, the paint will actually resist wherever there is wax. I'm going to add just a little more of the water to my paint. I want to make it nice and thin. And I'm going to paint over and you will see that the wax comes through the paint. And I can also take a piece of paper towel or a piece or a Kleenex or a napkin and actually pick that paint up and it will also lighten it up where we have the wax resist. Now, I've heard that there's a few people that had issues 
with their pieces breaking. Grab your bottle of Elmer's glue. Apply a little bit of glue to one side. If you have a clean break, you should be able to join them and stick them together like so. I would suggest holding it for a minute or two until the repair, until the glue sets. So that is how you repair a crack. And then once that glue is dry, you should be able to simply paint over it. And as I mentioned, all the textures you see here were created with plastic spoons and plastic knives and then also plastic forks. So you can see how I made these textures. And then this one over here was made with the end of the fork to do those. And the stripes on this one, I used the back side of a knife right here. And then these depressions were done with the plastic silverware at an angle and pressing down. So those are some tips and techniques for acrylic painting and also how to use utensils to create textures.